very warm welcome to apollo cradle i am dr deepak i am one of the chief uh, neonatologist here and a pediatrician so today uh, i was uh, going to talk to you about uh, preterm delivery and the consequences so as you may be aware we are uh, um, we manage very high risk uh, preterm babies and surgical babies and uh, we look after uh, babies born from uh, 24 weeks onwards um, to term babies so one of the things uh, when a mother comes with a preterm delivery uh, would be um, you know a lot of uncertainty of what will happen to the preterm uh, babies and what would be the long term outcome so i thought i'll just uh, talk to you about uh, uh, the preterm deliveries and uh, the long term outcome and what are the services um, the help services what we offer uh, to such babies so the 24 weeks onwards is considered to be you know borderline viable 24 to 26 weeks gestation in good centers so one can offer gestation 24 to 26 weeks there are problems like one in four babies can have a normal outcome in the like western studies and one in four babies can have long term uh, problems so in terms of hearing problems vision and neurodevelopmental outcome cannot be you know maybe um, worse in these babies so when we when a mother comes with uh, uh, gestation of 24 weeks in pregnancy so obviously we'll try to speak to them before delivery and counsel regarding um, the need for further care so if the parents are willing and um, you know uh, the obstetrician uh, goes ahead with uh, steroids and uh, they also give magnesium sulfate to help the baby to help in neuroprotection we would go ahead and then um, counsel the parents and then if they are willing uh, these babies would be taken care in an icu so uh, roughly 50% of these babies will go on to survive and one in four babies will have uh, long term uh, um, problems as i explained earlier so and other things these babies can have would be like most of the things will be immature like brain will be immature the intestinal system will be immature the lungs are immature the survival uh, depends upon the lung maturity um, these babies may need ventilator support for uh, a bit long time 2 to 4 weeks and uh, you know they need a, a medicine called surfactant to help the lungs and they also need a specialized incubator to help these babies to um, uh, survive um, the incubator provides the warmth and also the humidity because the skin is also very immature so these are uh, specialized uh, uh, equipment which is available and uh, we have got the state of the art equipment scanning equipments and an icu and uh, the nurses are uh, highly trained to look after these babies so and also these babies are at risk of something called lung uh, the head bleeds and lung bleeds so we would routinely monitor these babies and also they also can have something called a duct um, which is a artery which connects uh, uh, two major arteries the lung artery and also the body artery this can remain open in preterm babies less than 28 weeks up to 70 to 80% of them and sometimes it can cause problems with the flooding of the lungs due to Uh, blood going um, too much of blood going into the heart so sometimes we need to tackle this and occasionally some of the babies may need a uh, uh, tying it off by um, operation if it causes a problem but generally with medication and uh, uh, management conservative management most of these babies can be managed so we talked about the breathing and uh, the heart and the other thing would be the intestines so intestines would be immature in these babies and these babies can take a long time to um, uh, absorb the milk so they would be given something called special nutrition iv nutrition through a central line so as you know the babies have a uh, umbilicus and uh, nature has provided the passage uh, to administer drugs and also we can monitor the blood pressure so we put a line through the umbilicus uh, something called umbilicus uh, central line and uh, we initiate feeding a protein and fat we give it to these babies and once the babies are a bit older so we swap into a line um, peripheral line central line and then this feeding can be continued sometimes it takes 2 to 4 weeks for these babies to establish mother's milk and also these babies are at risk of something called a gut infection feed intolerance so we have to monitor all these things and also these babies are very premature the skin is also as i said was immature so they are at risk of something called infection so 
these babies need to be um, uh, one or two episodes of infections may happen. So if they have any breathing problems or any problem that we suspect infection, we uh, take blood samples and put these babies on antibiotics. So roughly at 24 or 26 weeks may stay two to three months in the hospital. So overall, um, and um, so as we say about the outcomes, the initial 24 hours are very crucial for the outcomes. If the baby makes survives in first 24 hours, first one week, and especially first one month, the chance of baby going home are very high. Yeah. So roughly uh, a baby born at 24, 25 weeks, 50% survive as I told you. But as the weeks progress, around 28 weeks in good centers, 80% of the babies go home, um, they survive. So this is the data from India as well. 28 weeks and above, 80% of babies generally survive. Um, and the outcome is a bit longer if the baby's weight is bigger and um, also as the baby matures, um, uh, you know, so more maturity and the risk of uh, problem also is less. So suppose if a baby is born at 28 weeks, um, we would say that uh, uh, there is around 10% risk of long-term problems. So compared to 24 weeks, it's you are better off if the baby is delivered at 28 weeks. So we generally counsel mothers and parents before delivery, we go through the system wise, what problems you can expect and what is the long term outcome. The other things would be the, you know, the eyes also need to be examined in these babies. Some of these babies can develop um, something called retinopathy of prematurity, wherein the blood vessels can grow rapidly into the back of the eye and can cause blindness if not treated. So these babies will be uh, seen by a specialist eye doctor. Um, the pediatric eye doctor who see the eyes every after three weeks of birth and then they monitor the uh, growth of the blood vessels until they are around 40 weeks. Thing is some of these babies can have uh, problems later in the life. So we have a, a team um, of the nurses and also the developmental specialist so who will be assessing these babies and we consultants we monitor the growth and also you know the, the milestones. So one thing is the, the milestones will follow the corrected gestation. So if, if your baby is born at three months early, um, so the baby will start smiling and looking around and uh, making uh, cont eye contact and also responding when the baby is around four months old. So that it, 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 the, the development follows the corrected age, not that so these things, you know, so it can be quite stressful for the parents, but uh, you know, with uh, proper uh, counseling and support. The, our NIC nurses are quite um, experienced in handling um, the babies. And also we encourage mothers and fathers to uh, have a contact with the baby. Something called kangaroo care is also done um, when the baby is stable. So the mother will hold the baby um, uh, into the bare chest. And this, will, this has been shown to improve the outcome of the babies, especially weight gain breathing support and uh, less chance of infection and also the feeding so when when would the baby start feeding orally so these are the things that would come to a new parent's mind so the initially as i told you the baby will be fed through a tube until their baby is around 33 weeks or 34 weeks then we also do something called non nutritive sucking so the baby once the baby shows the signs that it can suck then small amount of oral feeds would be given and gradually upgraded so generally in our units, the baby will go home once the baby is around, crosses 34 weeks, corrected gestation I'm talking about. So once they're around the feeding, taking oral feeds well, once they're off the warmer care, and once the parents are um, confident about uh, taking care of their uh, newborn babies. So most of these babies go home on uh, special medication, something like multivitamins, iron, and um, also we may have to give um, something called fortifier until they reach um, uh, uh, weight of 2.3 kilos and the hearing test will be done for all these babies and also something called newborn screening test also will be done. So in a, in a nutshell, I have covered what will happen to a preterm baby once the baby is born uh, in an ICU, extreme preterm babies and uh, courts. So some of these babies, if they are born below 26 weeks, they may have to stay for uh, almost around uh, 10 to 12 weeks in the hospital. So by concluding, you know, the, the preterm deliveries are quite uh, common and 10 to 20 percent of uh, deliveries born in uh, India are preterm babies. But majority of them, they are moderate preterms. That means that they're about 30, 32 weeks. 
But some of the babies, you, you, they can be born quite early. Um, so if they're born less than 28 weeks, they need to be nursed in a specialized uh, incubators, which provides humidity. And you need an expert team to look after such babies. And also not only the short-term care, the long-term care is very important in such babies. So you need to have a team of doctors, uh, nurses, and also the, uh, the development specialists to monitor these babies uh, the, for the long term. And also the parents need to be taught, um, uh, will be taught uh, the basic life support um, be, because these babies are at risk of, uh, a slightly increased risk of sudden infant death syndrome, uh, some of these babies. And, uh, you know, so they need to be monitored regularly in a hospital um, to monitor their growth milestones. And also we covered about the eye examination, hearing test and newborn screening test. So thank you.